Skull Snook. Skull Snook. Big Skull Snook right here. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another episode. This morning, we got a bit of a little bit of a north wind. I got my buddy John Man with me. See him back there. You already know the, the chick, the goat, one that catches all the fish. She's ready today. We're going to get on some fish, guys. The plan today, we do have some uh, live shrimp. We're going to go around, work mangrove veggies, maybe some docks. To kind of see whatever we can pick up kind of still in the explore stages in this area i've never really fished this area except one time in the last video you guys saw that link below um other than that guys let's get into it i'm excited let's catch some fish oh, saw some sort of fish activity that's a sign oh there's a bunch of school snook school snook big school snook right here Five big snook, dude. All right, guys, finally got something here. Nice, yeah, get the net, get the net. Finally, sight cast the sheep's head off here. I knew he'd come around, just took the time to get him. There he is, there he is. Net him up, baby. Ooh, he's still green. Yeah, it's a keeper for sure. He's coming around this way. Woo! Net him up, baby. There you go, John Man got him. Hey! Oh Let's get them in here. That's a keep. There we go. Nothing crazy big, but definitely keeper sheeps. That's a start of hopefully more. Let's get it. Jen still has to get her first one. Beautiful sheep's head. That'll be dinner for us tonight. Maybe do a little catch and cook. Looks like the fish are holding on the structure under the docks and eating shrimp. They were not eating earlier, but we're gonna go around and work these docks hard, flick some shrimp under there, see if we can pick up a couple more. Jen's never caught a sheeper. No. Nope. Mm -mm. John man, you gotta get one too. Guys, I just got so close to getting a big snook. Oh my God. I watched him come up and eat it and everything. Didn't get the hook. That was that big one we saw swimming around. I see a fish right now. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think I see something over here. He ate it, he ate it. I know it is, I know. Just try, to, try not to let him get me. Get the net, get the net, get the net. Get the net, get the net. Yes, it's gone, it's gone. Oh my god, just net him. Oh my god. So I got light leader line. Net him, net him, net him. Net him, Jay, net him. Please net him, please net him. John, 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 come on. John, come on, come on, bro. Come on, give me some. Please give me some. Yes! All right, guys, we got us a nice one here. Let's get a size on her. Oh, yeah. This is looking like a slot snook for sure. I'd say maybe a 28 or so. We're gonna find out in a second, but that's a little skinny, but that's a beautiful snook, guys. All right. I would've thought she was a little bigger than that, but yeah, 26, she's ready to go. She's chomping down my finger. Beautiful fish, oh, yeah. guys. That footage was epic. Side casted that guy. Oh my God, that was awesome. Yes. All right, Jen, you got the release? Back in there. Beautiful fish, guys. Epic looking fish. A little skinny, like I said, but I'm so thankful to get that guy. Thank you, Snook. Thank you, buddy. Nice release. He wanted that shrimp, man. There we go. He's ready to go. See you later, girl. Beautiful. Yeah. She's <laughs> she Yeah, guys, that was epic. I know you guys saw that footage. I can't wait to review it. That was epic. Side casted him, watch him come over. Oh, yes. Excellent. Guys, I'm shaking right now. That was so sick. Hey, and guess what? This guy actually gets to be on a video finally. Yeah. Yeah, all right. We got to have Randy Bob, old John man, out right, here. man. And uh, just to give you guys an idea what we're using. It's the tiniest little setup. I'm like almost a slot snook. So surprised. 25 liter line, 25 pound liter line. Such a light setup. But hey, man, play him right. You can get him out of there. So, yeah, guys, we're going to end up keeping that fish. Obviously, you guys saw we are keeping that sheep's head. So, we're going to head home. Jen's been wanting to cook up sheep's head. So, we'll see you guys back at the kitchen. Um, sheep's head's supposed to be really good fish. Honestly, it was a good day out here. Looking forward to eating some of that fish. So, we'll see you back at the house. So, we do have our uh, sheep's head here. We're just going to do a quick little catch clean and cook um, we didn't get any more unfortunately Jen did not get her sheep's head but 
That is going to be for next video. That's coming, I'm sure. We're going to try to get some bigger ones. These guys not too big, probably about a 13 inch, but we're just going to pretty much head it and uh, gut it and put it in the oven, cook it up a little later for dinner. So first off, go ahead and get all the scales off. Just kind of run down, knock these scales off real quick. Kind of quickly head it and gut it. So what I like to do usually is just get rid of the head first. I follow that outline. You can pretty much see where the knife needs to go. Try to save as much meat as you can. Go through right there. The other side, same thing. Sometimes they're easier to pop, break. Give it a quick little thorough rinse down. And that thing is ready for the oven. All right guys, so we're back in the kitchen. Uh, we're gonna give this fish a quick little pat dry. And we're gonna be using a compound butter. We got um, some garlic, uh, oregano, some butter mix up, salt and pepper. We're gonna stuff the inside of the cavity with the butter. So take the butter inside of the fish, kind of work it in there. I'll try to be technical. Just kind of work it in there decent. Get all the uh, inside area in there. Spoon works better, but I had a fork available, so. Got. Once we got the cavity filled, we're just gonna go ahead and cut a couple slices just so it'll cook a little better. A little tricky holding this guy that we got it there. Okay, so we'll just take a little olive oil, drizzle. A little salt on it. We already did pepper on the inside. These lemon slices, These just go in the cavity, stuff them in there. These last few, we'll just scatter around here. A little bit of garlic, scatter with it. You got your fish, obviously, smelling good. Mm, all that garlic seasonings, they're in the oven, 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. All right, next guys, we're gonna work on the salsa while our fish is cooking. We got um, some chopped tomatoes thrown in here. And I will link all the description and the amounts and everything, the whole recipe down below. Check that out if you're interested. Next, we got some green olives. Last but not least, parsley. Gotta get the fresh parsley. We're gonna mix all that together. I'm gonna throw a little bit of olive oil in it just to kind of get it all together, nice and moist. Let's see what we got real quick. Mmm, you guys can smell this. It smells with fresh parsley. Mmm, so good. And guys, today when we were out there fishing, it was all about persistence. It was a pretty rough bite. Not gonna lie to you, we really didn't get into fish until almost afternoon time, but we stuck in there, paid off. We got dinner, got a decent snook. So 2023 is gonna be a good year of feeling. But yeah, the salsa's looking nice. Got a good smell to it. Fish is cooking. We got about 15 more minutes. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, fish is done. It's smelling delicious. Check that out. Oh yeah. As Stell Cracker would say, that's money dude. Look at that guys, look at that feast. Check that fish out guys. Oh yeah, cannot wait to try that. Get that skin off, look at that. Comes right off like a piece of paper. Garnish. Gotta get tomatoes with it, come on now. There we go. Fish. That's so good. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. With like the freshness of the parsley and the tomatoes. Turn that on there. It's so good. Mmm. That's good. Mm. 
freshness and everything all together, right? Oh my gosh. The salsa makes it. It really does. Mmm. Oh my gosh. It does with that. Yeah, with the salsa. fresh salsa. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that's why I made a mistake. I don't know. There you go, you got Whatever. it. Boom. Mmm. Good stuff. Oh yeah. What do you what do you think on a scale of one to ten? That's good. Wait, maybe like an eight, nine? Nine. Nine. It's up there. Solid. All right, guys. It's been a long day. We got some fish to eat for dinner. Jen and I are going to sit down and eat a little bit of food. Relax, finally. Um, tough bite today. I'm not going to lie to you, but you just got to work sometimes. Persistence is key. Never give up. Please, guys, on another note, please give me some subscribers. I'm looking for more subs. I'm trying to grow the channel. You guys know I'm always out there. All types of fishing, offshore, inshore, uh, spillway fishing. We do it all. So, Please subscribe, share the love, guys, like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Later.